Hey everybody, welcome back to a brand new video. Today, I'll be showing you how to get the new Active Developer Badge in Discord. Alright, so go ahead and click on the first link down in the description, and here it will bring you to the Discord Developer Portal. And here, as you can see, I've already made many Discord bots before. You, today, I'll be showing you how to make a Discord bot that you don't have to code at all. No coding is required, it's super simple, and it's really easy. So once you're here, go ahead and click on New Application. Let's name it, I guess this is already saved to me, so Test Badge Bot. Click by clicking you agree and create. After that, you'll see that it brings you here. I want you to go ahead and go to bot, go to add bot, do yes to it. And then you'll see that you've literally just made a Discord bot. Now, go ahead and go to the second link in the description. All right, so go ahead and click on the second link down in the description and then you'll find this page. And here, it will make the Discord bot completely for you. So once you're here, go ahead and click next. Then, I want you to go ahead and go back to the Discord Developer Portal, go to General Information, and you see Application ID, just click Copy, go back to here, and paste in the Application ID. After you've done that, go ahead and go back to Discord Developer Portal, copy your Public ID, go back, and paste it in. After you've done that, go ahead and click Next, and then you'll see that it's going to give you this URL that you want to just copy, Go back to the Discord Developer Portal, and in here, Interaction Endpoint URL, Paste, and Save. Then, go back here, click Next, and then you'll see that it wants the secret. This is basically your kind of token that you don't want to share with anybody, but it needs it to log it into your bot, and like you're going to see in a second. Then you want to go to, go click on OF2, and then go ahead and click on Reset Secret under Client Secret, and then do Yes to it. And then if you have a Discord notification, you have to just paste in the code. After you've pasted the code in, you'll see that you have a client secret. Now I'm going to blow this out so you guys don't see it. And then go ahead and click copy, go back to here, paste it in, and click next. And then you want to click on where it says the green text, open this in a new tab. And then you'll reach this page. Now on this page, you're going to have to go back to Discord go make a new server to create my own for me and my friends name it whatever you want i'll just name it badge easy once you go in here click and go to the server settings go to enable community get started click on verify email required scan on media next next and i agree and understand and finish now you have a community server then go back to here Click on this link, you can open it in a new tab, whatever, doesn't matter. And then, select the server, add it to your new server that you just made, authorize. Then you want to go to the server that you just made, and in this case, it's the badge easy. Do slash finish, you'll see that you have this, click it, enter, and that is basically it. Then, you'll get the active developer badge after 24 hours. Now you'll have to go in exactly 24 hours, it will send you the link, click on it, go here, you'll see that you're not eligible yet, because you have to wait 24 hours. Why? Because every 24 hours, this goes checked that you have a bot that you need that has a slash command, like we just now just did now, then you'll see that in 24 hours, you'll have the thing, you'll have to just fill in like a quick little form, and that is it. You'll have the active developer badge, it is that simple. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe and like, and I'll see you in the next one.